are so many keepers of the hula tradition and everybody has their own place. And I think for me, my little place is to just keep it alive in my own community, my own backyard, you know, where I'm from and where my ohana is from for the past five, six generations. And I think it's very important for me to share what I know. And granted, I don't know everything, but what I do know is something that I really need to do. For this community in particular, Ho'okena Kealia, I feel that it brings us together. I think hula teaches them a sense of discipline, a sense of poise and grace. It teaches them how to dance through life, how to move through life, and also how to share aloha and how to share love with people through your eyes and your hands and your feet. And I would hope that it gives them a ways and means to express their deepest emotions and their heart. I feel it an honor and a privilege to be able to share what I know of hula and at the same time as I share, I keep learning because I have so much more to learn. When you dance hula and when you love hula and when it's been a part of your, your soul and who you are and before you went to school, and it's so deeply ingrained in every cell of your body that when you look at the ocean and you look at the waves crashing on the shore, everything you look at becomes a dance. What I hope for in the future of hula is that people carry the traditions of their kumus and they keep what has been passed down to them in its purest and truest form. And yet I hope to see an evolution of hula. As times change, the stories are going to change. And I just hope that all the things that we're seeing today get documented through hula so that we can not only tell the stories of our ancient kupuna and ancestors but we can also remember these times that we're living in for the future generations so they can know what we went through. To me, it, it's, hula is like the song of the earth. If the earth could tell a story, if the earth could dance, it would dance the hula.